Any new dialogue? No? Okay, it's just probably the same. I was gonna say to the engineers, you know, I did your job for you. Buddy. Okay. Let's see. Well, we did that. I guess we can go to the library now. Yeah, we have a bunch of photos in our pockets, by the way. Let's see. Library. Grip. Hey, receptionist bot, I have a library card. Let me in. Author, 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 how you say the word? Author, authenticating, authenticating, barcode, executing facial recognition. Photo match successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Well, maybe I should have changed the name. Well, and this, I don't think it really matters. We're just using a fake identity, that's fine. It's the end of the world anyway, no one cares about, you know, forged IDs. Hm, phone. Looks like an old phone. Is that the phone, you know, that they've been ringing this whole time? Full garbage. I assume that's, uh, the librarian's room. What's on the left? Oh, it's just a plant. What's on the right? Another plant. Hello? Hello! Okay, you're playing dice. A game dice. You must be the savior. I'm so happy I actually get to meet you, Heart. Uh, it's nice to meet you too, miss. So, are you here to check out the archives? I can give you a tour. Actually, I need your help. Can you tell me what I need to do next? I think I'm supposed to go in the tower. Yep. Do you know how I can get in? Nope. Gosh, I don't think anyone's supposed to go inside a tower. I mean, there's a little room they can go into, but there's no stairs or elevators or anything else. If you want my guess, you'll probably need Slimy Slider's help. I don't know how exactly. In my experience, that, that kind of knowledge is usually recorded in some sort of cryptic book. But I haven't read anything like that before. Sorry. Huh. Well, we do have a cryptic book, actually. It's this weird journal. Now, let me explore this place first, though. Let's see. Books is full of papers and notebooks. Oh, these are the manuscripts the author sent me. As the head librarian, it's my job to help him with the publication process. Ah, uh, but lately he hasn't been sending me anything. This isn't like him. I mean, I guess it does give me some extra time to work through this backlog. To be honest, I'm a little behind. That guy works really fast. I see. The weird part is, I've been publishing book after book after he, uh, uh, really publishing book after book after he stopped sending me things, right? But the pile of manuscripts seems to never get any smaller. At all. Dolly, you think I'm going bonkers? You know, I don't know. You're like a person with a giant dice forehead. Uh, there's a black clover symbol on the cover of this book, and hey, this other book has a clover on its spine. And the rest of these books, too. Are they all about clovers? Oh, no, no, no. A black clover symbol just means it's written by the author. Oh? He doesn't want to tell anyone his name, so he marks all his works with a symbol instead. He wrote all of these books? He sure did. Hmm. Ah, that, book's, uh, that box is for the book I'll get to publish this week. I'm so excited. His books are in high demand, you know. He, we literally have people lining up to read them. Oh? Uh, what does he write about? Uh, what doesn't he write about? It's really impressive how fast he can crank these scripts out. Like, where does that guy get all the time? I don't know, maybe he's God. A book is poking around from the shelf. Okay. So, another fruitful visit to the Great Parfait today. Uh, she seemed high in spirits. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from her window and the sound of footsteps on the wood floor. Regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. A, a prophet? You mean the prophet, the, the prophet robot, or some other prophet? I don't know. Uh, Rachis was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped notes. He's been very vigilant on recording the prophet's day-to-day -day musing, and his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The older child, Calamus, has expressed an interest in reading. Hmm. Calum, uh, Cal uh, who's Calamus again? We, we, we saw that name before. Is it the bird brother or is it someone else? Can't remember. 
I don't know. Uh, Calamus Resolution reading. I, I offered to teach him as much as it is his father. Or is it, uh, or is it, um, or is it the, the guy? The maintenance guy? Was it? I forget. I forget who's who. We don't see their names pop up very often, so I kind of forget who's who, but I forget. I, I don't know if Calamus is the bird brother or the guy we just met, you know, when we fixed the elevator. I think he said his name is Calamus or something like that. I don't know. Okay, here's another book. There's a sketchbook. Okay. Uh, Wednesday, another still life of some objects on my desk. Still not very good, but Silver can recognize the objects at least. Mm, very sketches. Silver drawing. So, okay, so Silver, because there's Doctor Silver Point, and I assume the uh, the Android Lady, Android Engineer Lady, is just named Silver. Is that what it is? I, don't know. I think this book is actually about clovers. A oh, uh, clover book about clovers. Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient and can thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the gland, it can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with the moss for resources. Uh, radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. Hmm. And it seems like there's colors on them green, red, and blue, you know, similar to the phosphor we always see. Maybe once we bring light back to this world, the clovers will glow again, you know? And give off energy? Uh, the book? Oh, here's the, uh, profit bot we saw before. Well, thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we use a radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to limited resources this time, but it still should be capable of delivering the late profits' message. Okay, so there was like a real profit before, but you know, then they died probably, so this one, this robot took, a, took their place, I guess. The team suggested that taming was a lost cause. Okay, so there's no taming though. Wi-Fi? This is a Wi-Fi staff? My clothing... Rounded look? And I guess this is the blue phosphor. Oh, okay, so that's why the robots have different lights to them. The ones in the Barrens always had these blue phosphor to them because they're using, well, blue phosphor stuff. For, for their energy source. And the ones in the city uh, have a lot of red lights to them because they're using red phosphor to, you know, power them up. That's why they glow differently. Yeah, bottled water and takeout boxes. Okay. Getting here. Work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. The manuscripts, I guess. I keep a copy of everything that I publish for him in the archival room. You can read some of it if you want. Some of them are even illustrated. Kids like pictures, right? Mm, even the painting is books. Looks like a scanner. And a printer. Alright. Your bed. You, you work here and you sleep here, I guess. I guess she lives here. Okay. Computer? Updated databases. Hmm. Well, since you're already here, feel free to check out my archives. Or better yet, if you have any questions about books, I can answer them. I love books. Books, books, books. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, obviously, biggest thing is showing this to her. Oh, I do have this. I think it's written some sort of uh, words I don't recognize. Oh my gosh, it's a book! And not just any book. Golly, where did you find this? Uh, somewhere in the Barrens. Uh, we found it in the safe. Right, Science Slider? Is that so? In that case, I know what I have to do now. I need to borrow this journal for a bit, okay? Gotta translate it. Oh, cool. It might take a while, though. That's fine. Ah, uh, excuse me. Gosh, you look really tired. A little, yeah. No worries. I have a guest room in the attic down the hall. If you want, you can go take a nap. A cat nap. I'm not a cat. I'm not a cat, lady. We've done for a while. Sorry. Okay. That's. Uh, I guess that's Nico's cue to like, you know, take a nap and everything. Now don't over overexert yourself. Down the hall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is the room right here. Book on the ground. Let's, let's do some reading, though. 
Uh, but she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Oh, yes. Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to rolling of dice. Recently, I found that they are easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still rolled it to the best of my abilities. After all, I felt only right to honor her this way. There are six. Which one did you encounter? Oh. Hmm. What do you mean by that? There are six. Do you mean there's an alternate dimension or something or I mean this this game is all about the the meta-ness you know how this world is different from our world and how Nico's world is different from this world as well and everything I wonder what that means in in relation to the dice lady though like uh, like can we like meet different versions of I guess George the head librarian I don't know anyway Well, I guess it's time to take a nap. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Sure. That closes the game, though. Nope. Let me drink some water. Well, Nico takes a nap. <sighs> alright. And then we open the game up again. It's a very quick nap. Okay, there's Nico eating pancakes and mother, I assume. Nani. <laughs> oh, light bulb. Hey, Sonny Slider. I guess you saw my dream? Yes. It was. Come on, let's go, okay? I don't know what that light bulb was. Was that like a, a metaphor for your own world dying or something? Did your world explode? I don't know. Oh. Uh, did I read this yet? Oh yeah, okay. Sorry, right, for some reason I thought I didn't read it. Just to make sure... Alright, George, you're done yet? Hey, I had a good nap? Mm-hmm. Goody. I finished translating the journal, by the way. Oh, that was fast. Well, you were out for a while. Anyway, looks like this journal might be meant for Sonny Slider. Oh? Here, take a good uh, take a look yourself. Okay. Greetings, Sonny Slider. If you can finally read this, this means you're near the tower. The tower is the domain of an elusive entity. This being is connected to the world. For now, you can think of it as the spirit of the world. It has no physical form, but it can communicate through computers and other machinery. You know who I'm talking about, of course. Well, sort of, I guess. When you first arrived here with our savior, it no doubt contacted you right away. Through its own means, the entity will uh, guide the both of you to the tower. The entry room is at the tower's base. Not only do you need the sun there, but also three pieces of the previous sun. Previous sun. The savior will not be able to do anything there. You, Sonny Slider, on the other hand, look at the pattern on the floor. Do as it says. The window will be gone, so you need to bring it back. Is that all? Yeah, the rest of the pages were turned out. Or torn out. I guess you don't know, know what happened to those? Nope. Oh, I was wondering what window was supposed to mean. I guess Sonny Slider will have to figure that one out. Right. By the way, what does it mean by three pieces of the previous sun? Uh, I only have this sun. Oh, of course. This just means you need the things that contain yellow phosphor. They glow for a long time. Oh, yellow phosphor. We didn't see that before. Oh. I do have a piece of amber and a feather. They're both glowing yellow. Oh, just two? Here, you can have this then. Oh, okay. We'll get another one. It's a dice. Okay. Glowing dice. Oh. Looks like me, right? Mm-hmm. Now you have a little keepsake from the library. Thank you. No problem. Looks like you're all set. Good luck now. All right. I thought that we, yeah, we, I thought we could like go into the tower already, you know, and enter it. But actually, we do need those three pieces. Uh, uh Kira Sin, can you tell me after I beat the first run, or or do you mean like about the whole multiverse stuff or another stuff? Well, I think you save it. Save it until like you know. I don't. I don't want any like um. 
you know, no spoilers, basically. <laughs> like, I'll probably, like, you know, I'll speculate and stuff, but that's, like, you know, for me. That's, like, just for me to, like, have fun speculating, you know? Can I press it again? Yes, please. Uh, oh, you mean the broken bulb and dreaming? No, you, you don't have to tell me. I th it'll be explained later, probably, you know? Now, when, you can, well, I don't know. Like, when it, when it shows up. You know, when, when it's, like, obvious. Otherwise, you know, if there's like, you know, symbology, metaphors and everything, then I, th I feel like it's best to left to be left vague, you know, until at least until the very end, you know, like when everything's done and everything, then maybe, but otherwise, I feel like it's best to not, for me anyway, to not spell certain things, unless I really don't understand it, but, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I'm hungry. We're finally hungry? <laughs> hey, Sign Slider. Do you remember where the cafe is? Uh, yeah. It's an elevator, right? Oh, good. I'm asking because, well, I'm a little hungry. You're finally hungry. Actually, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything since I got here. So is it okay if I get some food before we enter the tower? Hope they have pancakes. Okay. I was saying this whole time, you know, Nico, you never ate anything. You said you were fine, but actually, you do get hungry. And yeah, well, ooh, I don't know. Like for the for the how like you know how everything comes together and theories about the game and everything, uh, I feel like it's best to just again just leave it to the very very end if you know what I mean. You know when I guess when credits roll, you know, basically, is you know the mystery is kind of fun too. I like you know in, in a lot of video games, number one I, the number one thing I like to do is try to like understand the world, you know, as I go through it. That sort of thing. And put the, putting the pieces together. I like doing that. I like learning about a game world. Especially if it's interesting. Like this one. Now let's see. Right? Cafe is, uh, I think, this way? Gotta feed Nico. Gotta, like... Decrease his hunger meter. Though I've said, well, Nico, I think it was never mentioned, you know, Nico's gender actually, but I just assume, you know, Nico's a he. It's probably because of the scarf. For some reason, I associate the scarf with, I don't know, masculinity for some reason. I think it's because of, you know, there's a vocaloid actually called Kaito, and he's a guy, so that's why I associate it with uh, Nico's gender as a as a boy. But you know, I don't think it's ever been like mentioned or will ever be mentioned maybe i don't know anyway uh oh hey you're back did you manage to fix the elevator mm-hmm sign side i went to the surface already and i'm hungry well i remember there being cafe here you have any pancakes we sure do wait i don't have any money maybe you can help you wash dishes or something no no it's on the house least I can do it for the savior, right? Here, why don't you take a seat? I guess free food because we're the hero. I'll go fry some up for you. Pancakes. Pancakey. It reminds me of those Abigail memes, you know, from Fate Go, where she's like eating a pancake or whatever. She's just drooling for pancakes. Um, these pancakes are so good. Thank you so much. No problem. You look really hungry. Yeah. I thought this would be my last chance to eat something before I go in the tower. Ah, gotcha. So I guess pancakes are your favorite food? Mm-hmm. Well, almost. My favorite food in the world are special pancakes that my mama makes. She likes to pick hazelnuts and grind them up in a batter. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. They taste amazing. She always made them when I was feeling sad. Or lonely, or... Mammy. I really miss her. I just... I just have a bad feeling all of a sudden. Am I even here to save the world? People have been saying how the sun won't fix anything. I don't even know why I'm here. I just want to see my mama again. She's probably dead, kid. Oh, uh, <laughs> there, there. It's gonna be okay. And I'm sure you'll be able to save the world. You're a tough kid. You managed to get this far already, right? Yeah, but you'll get to go home afterwards, right? I don't know about that. 
that's left a mystery. That's left vague. So I okay, I only imagine that Nico will not go home, but I don't know. Right. Hey, want some more pancakes? It's okay. I'll be fine. And you know the I was thinking like the journal that we got from well it was written by the author and everything, and it seems like uh, he's on our side. But at the same time, though, he mentioned the entity that we've been seeing, you know, the entity that's speaking to me, the player. Um, it feels like they're a malicious force, actually, aren't they? Like, a, it seems like, anyway, it implies that they're like a villain, and yet somehow they're the ones that gave us that journal in the first place, which is weird. So why would they do that if they didn't want us to go to the tower? So in which case, if we go to the tower, we're just playing to the hands of the entity, I think. But, oh well. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for listening. And for the pancakes. No problem. Good luck. Pancakes. Amazing. Hanging there. Reminds me of a poster of the cat, you know, hanging on the branch. But anyway. Die, I guess. And what is it, die? No? Feather, die, amber. Actually, I want to ask about that die. I don't know if we can, but... Oh. Well. Travel. Let's see. Oh, we can't, uh... Oh. Yeah, we can't travel directly to the ground level from here. We have to actually go to the elevator first. went back up. I still... There's this water pill. T-shirt. <laughs> the t-shirt is just a red herring. It's not real. It's not something we can use, probably. Because I'm thinking the, uh, Nico mentioned, like, the corn, you know, the plant lady needed some extra stuff, but I don't know what to give. I don't have any fertilizer or anything, so I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just checking this place again because we went back up so I'm just checking if we can like activate this yet No wall In the middle it just it looks like a lock can you use this die on it I guess not as it turns out yeah the the amber the feather and the die they're all like pieces of uh, the previous sun yellow phosphor I guess I mean, we don't know much about yellow phosphor but it seems like you know it's a source of near infinite energy maybe. One of the most powerful energy sources of this world, I guess. Anyway, I guess we'll go back. Go back down. Awkward elevator ride every time. Alright. Let's see. Hello, beep boop. Um, where's that, uh, ele the where was the tower again? Um, can we just teleport there? Let's see. There's a library. I don't really remember, actually. Was it... Well, we could we could go down this way, yeah, because we can just take the shortcut. Go over here. There might be some stuff I miss at this point, but well, it doesn't seem like I can do it, so we might have to come back later. I don't know. I don't know if we can, but it seems like this is it. We're going to the tower. And I assume this is where you literally press X on the window. I don't know what happens after that and how am I going to capture it considering, you know, I'm capturing this game, but... Um, I guess I'll press X? Okay, now what? Did just open up the game again? I think that's what it said.
Oh, huh? never mind. Is this the inside of a tower? Or the tower? It's a lot darker than I thought. Wait, where's the sun? Oh, the sun's gone. Sorry, Sly, do you know what happened to the sun? Um, Sonic Slider? Sonic Slider? Come on, Sonic Slider, say something! Uh, I mean, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Sonic Slider! What's going on? Okay, apparently Nico can't hear us for, for some reason. Can I control him? Oh, I can. No items? Can't travel anywhere. Yeah, I assume. I mean, we'll see. I guess what happens. I'll capture the computer screen if I need to. But uh, I don't know if there's anything to do as Nico. Well, hmm. You walk around, but you know, probably it's just. Oh no. Oh, let's see a computer. Okay, what's this? Hello, Nico. Hello. Congratulations, you're now inside the tower. Are you talking to me now? Correct. But you were always talking to Sonic Slider before. Where's... Sonic Slider's already left. I le Okay, I left already, I guess. I had to resort to contacting you directly. Wait, so Sonic Slider's gone just like that? Correct. For good? Correct. Sonic Slider's already finished their mission, I did? I did? <laughs> And so I have you, Nico. Here, you can rest now. Everything that's happened here is like a bad dream. When you wake up, you will be home. Oh. But... What's wrong? I thought there'd be more to it, you know? I thought we were supposed to go to the top of the tower, and... I thought it was supposed to be somewhere we need to put the sun in. And now I don't even have the sun anymore. The sun is just gone. This feels wrong. But you did good. You saved the world, Nico. Are you not happy? I guess I am. But it's just... I saved the world already? How did I do that? I'm looking around my computer right now. I don't see anything. At least the desktop, anyway. Uh, just moving some windows around. I don't see anything directly. I might have check my documents or something. There's that one document that I was given before a long time ago, but... I don't know if they changed it or anything. No, uh, same thing. Document's still the same. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we could rest here, but... That will probably just close the game. I never even got the ticket by the sign slider. Oh. We do that though. Does that just end the game? Oh, okay. Okay, fine. I'll just... Yeah, there's a message here. Let's see. Display capture... Boop. <laughs> here you go. It's getting meta. And as for you, sign slider, we're done here. Please don't return to this world anymore. That's it? That's it? I don't know. <laughs> That's it? Don't return to this world anymore? I don't know what exactly I'm supposed to do. Any... You know, I'm always scared of using display capture because I don't know if I show any, any private information, but... Probably, probably not. It's my... It's just my... Dashboard. I... Uh... I'll open the game again. Oh. Oh. This is not over. Regardless of what the entity told you, there's more to the story. Documents by Game Launcher. Look for the Black Clover. Once it's active, please relaunch the game. See you soon. So I can only assume the entity is lying to us because we see Nico here. He's not returned to his world. He's just asleep. I guess the idea is that, you know, the world is over, so he's just gonna let Nico sleep forever. But that doesn't do anything, okay? 
Oh, okay. If I do anything, he just goes back to sleep. Uh, okay, well. No, oh, hold on. Hold on. Just making sure I'm not opening anything, such as my tax returns, accidentally. Let's see. Uh, documents. My games. One shot. Read me. Hmm. What's this? Read me. Oh, that's just normal. That's just the normal instructions. Any extra instructions? Disclaimer. Uh, uh paranoid. Okay, no, I think it's fine. Okay, here's the black clover thing. I guess I can show it. Oop. Black clover thing. I don't know what this is. Hello. I guess this is just in program. This is the injector for the for the clover hacks, I guess. Anyway. Put that there, put this here, and then open the game again. I have I have 66 cents in my Steam wallet because I don't know. Because I sold trading cards anyway. Okay. Installing hacks. Uh Nico. Can I like I don't know. Oh, he woke up from his dream. Hello? Sonny Slider? Was that you just now? I thought I heard your voice. In my dream. I guess you're still not here. Or still not there, rather. I guess. Wait, there's something in my pocket. I don't remember putting it there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Clover. Okay. You're still here. Nico, why are you still here? Oh, again. Fine, more display capture. You! Why did you come back? I told you to stay away. You knew I tried to cut the story short, is that it? You want more out of me, is that it? Fine. If you don't want to leave, I'll make sure you never do. Ah, oh. uh, okay. Nanny. Just that there, I guess. Uh, back then I told you about the entity as little as possible. Okay. Eh. Eh. Kind of awkward because I do like this and then do this. I guess go left. Is that what this means? Oh. Apologies for that. I did not want to put the librarian in danger. Alright. I assume the author is talking to me. Yep. This habit has a- or this being has a habit of silence, uh, silencing the people who learn of its true nature. Yeah, go up, I guess. Uh, turn my head. Uh, regrettably, I have seen it happen to dear friends. Okay, so this guy. Ah, uh, but do not worry. The entity cannot touch you. All right. I assume it's because I'm God. I'm also a god. I assume the entity is some sort of god. I'm also god because I am a player. I guess. Nor can it do anything to me. I wonder what you are though, the author, and now why do you have access to all of this? Are you also a sentient, omniscient being as well? Go down. Nope. I already left the world on my own terms. Okay. 
which makes me wonder like the author probably because they mentioned the author traveled you know a lot but i don't think he traveled in it in this world he traveled in other worlds probably this is the implication i imagine i never meant for the entity to exist hmm. i go back oh, okay no i thought you, i thought that you know indicated that and go back well no just go this way blah, blah, blah. Huh? this is uh, isometric now but now that it's fully sentient, one thing became clear. Oh, kind of weird. Uh, there's two ways to go. I don't know which way to go. Clover is still in my pocket. Or Nico's pocket, anyway. Which way do I go? I don't know. This way? The entity seeks death. Hmm. Maybe if I like... This one? Or... So then it seeks death. Death to itself, death to the world, a relentless desire that manifested physically. I'm not sure how to read this. It's pointing at one of the doors. I don't know how exactly how am I supposed to. Uh. Maybe it starts like this. I'm not sure exactly. I don't know if it matters which one I'm supposed to go into, but. Let me line it up like that. So, this one. Blah, blah, blah. Oh no, okay, no it's not. I'm not entirely sure how to, like, do this. Like, you can read it like this, or you can read it like this. How do you know? Maybe it's the lines? Is that what it is? Again, it's kind of awkward because they're just moving windows around. I assume you read like this, right? Hmm. Oh no, I see it, okay. So it's this thing, I didn't see it before, I didn't recognize it. Okay, well, there you go. I didn't see that, I didn't see this thing before. I guess it's because, oh yeah, you have to, oh okay, you have to equip the clover and you'll see it. Okay, I didn't know that before. Kind of stumbled upon that one, so you do go this way? I thought, no, well, this is okay. Let's see. Eh, eh, eh. Moving windows around. Uh, let's see. Death to itself and death to the physical world. You already seen the scars. This one. Right now, the entity is doing everything it can to impede your progress, stalling for even a few minutes. Uh, this one, yeah. Before you inevitably bring the sun to the tower's summit. Okay, that one. And that's where you go, god. Uh, that is where you, rather, God, will make the final judgment for the world. Okay. Of course, the entity will contact you again there. And when it does, it will trick you into shattering the sun. Really? I mean, I guess you're not supposed to? This will end the world instantly. Dot hmm. dot 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 dot. Well, I mean this way. Dot 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 dot. Hmm. No, no, it's not that simple. Oh, it's not. I'm sorry, I do not know what to do in a situation like this. Oh, do you mean, are you talking about the puzzle? Because, <laughs> yeah, it seems like we're going back. 
but I still think I have to tell you the truth. Okay. Well, we're getting new uh, text, so. The sun is Messiah's tie to the world. Hmm. Hopefully you can see all- I mean, it's kind of awkward because the window's so small. Look at my OBS. I can't look at my OBS because I'm doing display capture anyway. Oh well. Anyway. Uh, the sun is in the Messiah's tie to the world. Okay. Um, I don't know what this- What does this line mean? Do I just go with that line? Which line is it? One, two, three, four, five. Six? The sixth line? One, two, three, four, five, six. This one. Uh. Oh, wrong one. No, stop it. This one. And, uh. As long as the sun, uh, as long as the sun is intact, the Messiah remains trapped here. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a weird Tetris piece. Uh, it's kind of awkward because I can't move. Okay, so I have to go. I always have to go back to the window. Or can't see the outline. I'm not focused on the black clovers stuff. Is that it? Like, no, that's not it. Like... Uh, over here... Whoop. Oops! No, ah, 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 I'm messing it up, no! Eh. Eh. I messed it up. Now nah, it looks weird. Wait, how did... Do everything all over again. Let's see. Uh, no, <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Doesn't work. Um, how about that? And this? Was that supposed to? Oh, oh. Um, that one is not supposed to have a, a line to it. Never mind. Um. Nagling with it. Eh, eh, go away. Eh, eh. No? Am I missing something? Uh, uh, oh, because uh, because of that one little like piece of the edge that's not supposed to be there. There you go. Give me another one. Okay. Uh, sharing the sun may terminate this world, but. But what? Uh -huh. Okay. So I need one right in the middle there. Okay, it's kind of again hard to see because I gotta like move this out of the way every time. Let's see what what is that one? What row is that? I'm really bad at like visualizing where I need to be because it covers it. Um, how many blocks is that? One, two. Three, four, five, six. So six there. Six and right, which and, um one one two three four five six. So okay, right in the middle. So six right in the middle. Yeah, no inherent feature to pin the windows at the oh, is there I don't know, I have no idea. Can I pin this? I have no idea. I don't know. Anyway. Let's see. So it's right right in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right in the middle. How do I do that? Um I guess you do something like this. And then Actually, well <laughs> actually how do you do it? Uh this and then, like, oh no, I did it wrong. Wouldn't it, wait, well, ah, oh, oh, then I missed it up. Did not mean to do that. Well, I can probably just finagle with it until it works. 
whoop, 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 very inefficient way to do this. What I wanted to do was... I was kind of already messed it up, but... Just do this. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see. It's also the only way for the Messiah to return home. Hmm, apparently... Oh yeah, the Messiah is the Nico. So the shattering the light bulb is the only way for the Messiah to go home? For Nico to go home? Well, maybe I do want Nico to go home, but that might sacrifice this entire world as well. I don't know. Hmm, oh, this is complicated. Uh, let's see. More of that. So this is the edges. So let's make the edges first, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it like this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's, right. it's a lot of me just finagling, finagling, finagling. Is that a word? I don't even know. I just made that up. Finagling. I don't even know. I don't even know if it mean like it means what I think it means. Let's see. Okay. And then I gotta like that pattern. Oh god. Ah. Uh, I'm really bad at visualizing. Like, but once I take the overlay out, I'm like, I don't, I can't imagine it. I can't think of it anymore. Like, this is why I'm not an artist. I can't like think of stuff and then put it into like the physical reality. Um, hmm. so something like a diagonal. So go one, two, three, go like boop, 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 boop. Like one, two, three, four, and then just keep going that way. Probably, well, I'll fix that later, but like, one, two, three, four, maybe that, yes. Is that right? I think, no, yeah. Hmm. And then, do, 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 do. <laughs> no, ah, I, did, I think I did it wrong. Damn it! No, it's not right. One off. I gotta fix that. Gosh darn it! Yeah, yeah, like that. Is that what it is? Okay. I think so. I'm missing one piece there though. Here. Whatever they do. The focus on the window before I press buttons on the keyboard. Over here, right? And then do the rest. You know, it's like. Step one, draw a circle. Step two, do the rest. Um, how do I get to the middle though? It's kind of hard to like. Let's see. I wish I could like again. I could wish I could overlay it. But... I just have to remember. I go here, one. I can do like one I well, I can do it like one step at a time, basically. It's very slow, it's already pretty slow, but let's see. Go one step at a time. Go do this. And then go down. <laughs> and then go to the left. In fact I should probably count it. Oh, my OBS is kind of weird. Why is it like that? Oh, ah, ah, what happened? Windows 10, what are you doing? I hate you, Windows 10. Why do you do this? You close everything. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, um... Let's see. 
three more times. One, two, three. Up. Like that, like that. And then three more times up. One, two, three. You know, sometimes OBS, like, for some reason, it's like the, the window is larger and I can't like minimize it more for some reason. It's weird. Why is OBS weird? I don't know. Anyway. Not much commentary. I'm just like focusing on doing the puzzle. Um, up. This way. And then one, two, three, four, six, seven, seven, like that. Basically, f mirror this. Uh, no, I gotta double check. Is that right? Yeah, one more to the right. Go here, like that, and then do 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 like that. Of course, I'm stuck here now because I still got to do re the rest of the th of those things. But uh, let's see. Like that almost done. Almost done. Gotta just do the rest of the target thing. I assume this is the symbol for the the light bulb, actually, of the sun. Hmm. So we're going that, and then uh, hmm. okay, that over here. Oh, did not do it right. Oops, I think I accidentally added the space or something. Oh no, there's one more. Actually, there's one more space right here. Okay, that was a struggle. Is there another one? Okay, no, okay. That took a long time for me. Um, I do not realize things could end up like this. Please, forgive me. Well... Well... We're at the top of the tower, maybe? I'm not sure exactly. Not sure exactly where we are. But I see a light bulb. So I guess we'll just go get it. It's the light bulb. Oh, thank goodness, it's safe. I guess Sonic Slider isn't coming back. Nope. Apparently. Oh, no. No, Nico, I'm right here. Sonic Slider? Yes? Is that really you? I thought you were gone. Um, I never left you. Oh. I was uh, feeling a bit scared back there. I thought I was completely alone. Well, that was silly of me to assume, wasn't it? I guess we need to figure out where to go now and... The sun. It lit up on its own. I wonder if it's safe- oh, I wonder if it's safe to zoom back in again? I don't know. Let me just... If there's anything else popping up, I'll, I'll put back display capture, but otherwise... Anything in inventory? Oh, the Black Clover's gone. Are we anywhere? No. Okay, let's just click on that real quick. Because I, you know, you never know. Sometimes it's because the game gets so meta, maybe the, in the notes there's actual literal notes from something else. But maybe not. Anyway. Guess I should pick it up, right, Time Slider? Yep. Oh, okay. The uh, the black clover window disappeared. So there's that. Can't go back. Oh, you go stairs. Just a light bulb. Just a light bulb. Hello? Oh, this is back from the very beginning, except uh, it's a lot more... It's a lot better. It's a sink. Nothing in the fridge. Back to where it all started. 
Oh yeah, I remember using yeah blue fire. I guess I guess that was blue phosphor. Thinking about it now. Nothing on TV. No reception, I guess. You can go back here. Ad finitum. Saw that before. Mirror. Well. Okay, bed. I don't know. Can we sleep in the bed? No? I guess not. Okay. Um, only one way to go, I guess. Can we go back? Go back this way, but it doesn't lead anywhere. I guess when you think- well, I don't know. I wonder if this is like an, um, simply a reconstruction, but it could be that we started, you know, at the tower this whole time, maybe. And we went back down and, you know, looped back up. Maybe. I don't know. Or it could just be a reconstruction of our memories. Oh, okay. Oh, well, here's... Whoop. So you actually made it here. I guess you win, Sign Slider. I'll tell you how to save the world, then. When you reach the summit, shatter the light bulb and... I mean, the Black Clover told us not to do that, buddy, so... Oh, there's no music. You go down here? No. Nope. Nope. Okay, well. I'm just humoring you. I know you've been getting help from a certain someone. He already told you about that choice, didn't he? Oh. Okay, I'll just leave the display catcher on. Are you still planning to save the world, Sunny Slider? Why are you trying so hard for this? Haven't you even figured out what this world is? It's a video game. This game, this world is a video game. It's called One Shot. Made, developed by Little uh, Cat Feet. Published by Dekika. Available on Steam for about 10 bucks. Um, I told you at the beginning, your mission is to help Nico leave. Because Nico isn't part of this world. Nico is the only thing worth saving here. The final choice is up to you. I can't go against my programming. Hmm. You have only one shot, Sighting Slider. If you choose to smash the light bulb, then Nico wakes back home, like it was all a dream. But if you let Nico return to Sun, the child will have to bear the weight of the sacrifice. Sacrifice? Child sacrifice? Are you sacrificing Nico's life for this entire world? At least, tell Nico the truth. You do care about Nico, don't you? Yeah, uh, maybe? I mean, he's the character we've been controlling this entire time, so... It's the only character we care about, really. At least the one we spent the most time with, anyway. No elevator music? Sure, it's taking a while. I guess this elevator leads to the top of the tower, Sunny Slider. Are you excited, Sunny Slider? We're finally gonna save the world. And I know it's for real this time, because you're here. And then, I'll get to go home for real this time, too. I can't wait to see everyone again. Are you okay, Sunny Slider? You seem a little quiet. Uh, Nico, by the way. Yeah? I need to tell you something. I'm listening. You can't save both. The world and you. What is that supposed to mean, Sunny Slider? To send you home. We must break the light bulb. What? But won't that... Won't that end the world? Yeah. I don't want that to happen. Well, I'm telling you because you're... Uh, I don't want to make the choice. You make the choice, Nico. Um, so what happens when we save the world? What happens to me? I don't know. You don't.
Light bulb. Hmm. I was wondering about his, uh, by the way, I don't know, I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but like, his, uh, eyes, by the way, are like, uh, glowing yellow, you know? Seems like maybe his entire soul is abundant with yellow phosphor, and maybe if we put this bulb back in its place, we're gonna have to sacrifice Nico to save this world. Uh, I don't know. Can we go back? Can we leave? No, turn back now, huh? Oh. The world below looks so small. There's nothing to do. Travel. No. So this is where the sun belongs. If I put the sun in here, we'll be able to save the world, right? If I want to go back home, I'll have to... break it? Oh. Tiny slider? What should I do? What's the right thing to do? Okay. There's only one choice? Or just rather two choices, rather? Mm. Oh, yeah. Alright. Moral choice. Uh, oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, Nico is like the character we've been following this entire time. Assuming what the entity is saying is correct, I'm still suspicious of the entity. Apparently, they're saying that if you break the bulb, um, he will turn home. I guess. I don't know what that means exactly, but the world will end and he'll be kicked out back to his own world. But assuming his world is even alive, you know, because his dream kind of implies that his own world is destroyed. But I don't know. Because if you break the bulb here, then the world will be destroyed similar to his own world, maybe. Maybe that's what happened. I'm not sure. So, like, it's kind of like a false choice. We can just return to Sun, but then again, that also feels like a little wrong. Because then we've been just doing what we've been doing this whole time. And, you know, uh, it brings to mind Dark Souls, right? You're the chosen one. You know, give us the flame, you know, but then... No one tells you that if you do it, then you, you know, sacrifice yourself and become part of the world and you die, basically. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't matter either way. Like, Nico will probably die either way, I think. That's what I think, anyway. So at the very least, we saved the lives of some of these people instead of no one at all. And also the Black Clover did tell us that the entity will say, will try to trick us, you know, try to trick, ah, you, you know, so you were saying, so you were saying that I was saying that you thought that I was saying, you know, because, and he was saying like, how you were getting help from the Black Clover or whatever, the author. So they're just trying to trick us and say that, oh, break the bulb and Nico will turn home. Um, but, you know, if I had to pick, it's like, it's kind of like, well... By itself, though, the choice is kind of like, do you want to, like, sacrifice the many to save the one, or do you want to sacrifice the one to save the many? I mean, the Kiritsugu choice, definitely, was to save the many. So... Eh, I don't know. I'm gonna return to Sun. That's my choice. How do I pick it, though? Do I click on it? Or do I just... Arrow key? Yeah. You go up. Oh, there's a third choice? No, no third choice. I think I want to return the sun. It's a dying world anyway. We're all gonna die anyway, Nico. You're gonna grow up in nihilism. Screw it. Return the sun. At least that's my choice. I don't know what Nico chooses. I mean, assuming Nico has a choice as well in this. Uh, you're right. I can't just leave everyone here to die. Thank you for your help, Sonic Slider. I promise I'll be okay. Yep. Wow! And then Nico is dead. One shot. There you go. Credits.
light is back to the world. It's not saved though, they're all still gonna die apparently, that's the implication anyway. But at least they get to gaze at the sun before they all die. Now there was the dice lady, there's that guy, the, the, the maintenance guy. And the siblings, bird siblings. Boo. Engineer lady? Just like a robot clone, I guess. At least in appearance, anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, profit bot. I say stuff in the credits, but I don't know what to say. I don't know if it is it end is it end now. I feel like there's still stuff missing though. We still haven't done some things. Well, thanks for playing. Apparently, we're back to the beginning. The sun is out, but there's no Nico. I guess nothing to do. No Nico, and the world ends. I guess. Uh, what happens if I turn the game on again? Probably nothing. It probably just shows it again. Uh, this place, yeah. Well. I think there's more to do, but, um... Don't figure it out, I guess. <laughs>